And then we move to stage number seven, which is optimize. And optimize is the last stage in the process. It's about developing a systems improvement machine. And to optimize, you must first develop a baseline. This is what makes systemology different from every other methodology that's come before it when it comes to process improvement. Process improvement, Lean, Six Sigma, and all of those focus on, it's in the name, improving the process, which pre-assumes that you have a process in place and identified to improve. Systemology is about process capture. We're identifying what you're currently doing, making that the baseline, bringing everybody up to that standard so that when you start to make changes, you can have a dashboard and look at some metrics and know that those numbers mean something because everybody's following the same process. You can't start to improve something if it's all over the place and no one really has any idea what process they're following and they're kind of making it up as they go. Because then when you look at the stats, you, you can't get clear visibility on I made a change and it made things better. So systemology is about getting that baseline into place. We are looking to create that repeatability and make it visible. And when we get that visibility, we can then create a baseline that we can then start to improve and work from there. So part of developing that baseline is then creating a dashboard. I've got a, a link through to that spreadsheet again, but always start with simple first when it comes to dashboards. People way overcomplicate what it needs to be. It really doesn't need to be. If you don't have a dashboard, don't start off with more than about 10 to 15 metrics. Don't try and record everything. The complexity can come later. Start with simple. If you can't do the simple, you'll never do the complex. So oftentimes, if you're thinking about your numbers, look at your critical client flow, and that can give you some ideas around marketing, how you're grabbing someone's attention, sales, what is the sales process? Do we have inquiries? What might that look like? How many booked meetings and delivery? Are there any metrics in that area? So you start to get metrics in the different departments. Oftentimes, and this is just us at Systemology, we do separate out the finance. So I tend on this spreadsheet not to put, we have a separate spreadsheet that we use for our finance systems, which is more for the leadership team. What this spreadsheet is good for is getting everybody on the team clear on what are the important numbers, because if you're measuring it, the subconscious message is that these numbers are important. And then if we make it someone's responsibility to update these numbers, ideally, you want to have someone responsible for each one of these numbers. It's their responsibility to populate it. Because when they do that, you're basically saying these numbers are important. And I'm, you know, whether it's monthly or weekly, I'm entering them in. You're kind of getting that team member to think about those important numbers. And what does the movement look like? Is it up or down? Do I have control over this? Can I make some changes? Uh, and, and once you get your dashboard, you then need to create the system around having it updated and re reviewed regularly. So we kind of teach the team members on how to grab their numbers to populate it in. And then we make sure that it is an agenda item at least once a month. It's probably even better to do it weekly, but at least once a month that we look at this as a team, we look at those numbers and we can have a discussion about it because then it makes it easier to listen to your business and you can start to set targets and think about, are you on track or off track? And what can we do to influence this and improve this? And how can we make changes at the system level to affect these numbers? I don't have enough leads. Let's introduce some lead generation systems. I'm having trouble with sales. Well, let's revisit our sales approach and make some adjustments here. We're having some cash flow troubles. Okay, well, we need to look at, are there ways that we can improve the payment system for our active clients? Start simple first, though. If you're not doing any of this, just start by recording the numbers. Just by looking at them regularly, you'll get a level of improvement. And then beyond that, you can start to layer in 
these extra levels of complexity, but make sure it's someone's responsibility to get these numbers loaded. So the spreadsheet that you can start with is this last one just here, KPI dashboard. I've put some words in here really just as prompters. You'll want to find what is right for you and your business. And once you've got the baseline in place, then it becomes possible to think about and solve issues at the system level because business is about problem solving. This is actually where the business owner does their best work. When they're solving problems that are going on in the business and they th think strategically and they know, well, if I do this, it's going to affect this and that's going to affect that. And we need to create space for the business owner and some of those key team members to be able to think like that. And using the dashboard and then creating this problem-solving cycle where you're, you're looking at the numbers, you're measuring it, and, and you know, as things bubble up over the course of the month of different challenges, they get listed out and then we discuss through them and we have a look, well, this is a problem, okay? And these are the numbers that kind of help us to understand what's going on. Well, let's innovate and come up with a solution. And how can we do that solution and fix it at the system level? great, we've fixed it at the system level. Now let's roll it out and then let's start watching and measuring again. Does that solve the problem or do we need to keep going around the loop? And that is a big part of the game of business for business owners. They are problem solvers. For the business owner to do their best work though, we need to get them out of the routine related tasks where they're not able to do their best work because they're just doing the wax on, wax off administrative things rather than what their unique skill is oftentimes is problem solving. And then problem solving at the system level, which is such a key part of what you as a systems champion can do and why you're so valuable for the business owner. Your action item for this particular step is to create the dashboard, figure out what those key metrics are, Ensure that it's updated to find out when is the cadence. Are you going to review this monthly or weekly or what is that going to look like? And then make sure it, it's part of the, the meeting agenda. This video was a quick snippet from the Business Systems Accelerator. If you wanted to find out more about that, head over to systemology.com forward slash membership to check out the full program. And I'll see you in the next video.